Columbus Day, Book 1 in the Expeditionary Force series by Craig Allenson, published in 2016. This is a non-spoiler review, so I will keep details as vague as possible. The book is a military sci-fi epic described on the cover as outstanding by some random Amazon customer. Am I missing something here, or is this a strange endorsement to lead with? You might as well throw up a quote from your dad. Anyway, I'm a big fan of military sci-fi, so Columbus Day, it didn't have to do nearly as much as some other genres to keep me interested. Open with an alien race attacking Earth, and our lead character Joe Bishop joining in humanity's effort to fight them, I'm sold. There are also a lot of parallels between human history and the events we see unfold between our species and the ones we encounter in space. It's effective seeing familiar wars unfold in this alien environment. Even the title references our history. It grounds things. This is a clever novel. A lot of things that don't make sense in the beginning start to come together as the story unfolds. Why did the Ruhar invade Earth? Why did the Christang intervene? What do either of them want with us? And even within this genre, I felt it was unique. Humanity, they're not in the driver's seat. Every alien species we encounter is more technologically advanced. We are largely insignificant. We are pawns in a broader galactic conflict. Heck, Bishop, the protagonist, isn't even remarkable for a human. He's not that ambitious. He's not particularly smart. He's a good but not great soldier. The man simply does his best in these situations he finds himself in. His successes, they often hinge on luck. And all of this makes Bishop more relatable than most military sci-fi protagonists. And it adds to the effectiveness of his ideological dilemmas. What do you do when you're on the wrong side of a war with no clear way of switching sides? Should you still fight? The story starts slow. Really, the entire first half is low on excitement. But the follow through more than makes up for all that setup. Once it picks up, I couldn't put the book down. Plus, the slower elements are great in their own right. Lots of insights. Once we are introduced to a certain new character in the middle of the book, this story shifts, and it doubles down on its humor and action elements. Granted, I wouldn't find this new addition that funny in person, but it works in the context of the novel. I wish the whole Christang being evil thing was handled with a little more subtlety though, instead of constantly comparing them to Nazis. It's incredibly obvious that humanity is on the wrong side here. It's even revealed in the book's description. Either make the Christang less blatantly evil, or make the human characters realize things are amiss right away. I didn't need racist, sexist aliens spouting out Nazi propaganda to realize that they weren't on the level. It makes Bishop and the others seem pretty dumb. On the flip side, the more I learned about the Rahar, the more this felt like a low-budget TV series. The hamster race, they don't seem alien at all. They have all our mannerisms. They farm, they play ball, and wear overalls, apparently. They're basically human. I also thought there was a bit of a disconnect between the two halves of this book. Characters kind of get forgotten. There isn't a lot of reminiscing. We get these story elements that seem important at the time, but mean little in the grand scheme of things. In conclusion, Columbus Day is definitely worth reading. It does take its time largely because of Bishop's averageness, but he's relatable. The story explores internal struggles I hadn't expected from it, and the second half, it's a lot of fun. 5 out of 5 stars. Anyway, that's all I've got. If you liked this review, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and thanks for listening. Peace.